Hey, I'm Ernesto, I make Tekken Breaks, and today I'm gonna teach you how to beat the Spotify algorithm. Have you ever wondered how the Spotify gods choose which tracks get the push and which ones get the trash with the minus 1000 tag? I spend a lot of my time researching and testing to really get how the Spotify algorithm works. Stick around till the end to learn how to get promoted as a related artist of your favorite musician. Before we get into it, give this thing a like if you want me to keep making these types of videos. The first thing you need to do is think of Spotify as a social network. Much like the YouTube and the Instagram algorithm, Spotify will reward you if you keep people on the platform and you post regularly. There's a few things that you can do to take advantage of this knowledge. Get your profile on point. Make sure that you have a profile picture, a cover picture, a proper and complete bio, and extra pictures inside. The more people spend on your profile looking at anything, this will give positive feedback to Spotify and get your numbers up. The second thing that you should do is post regularly. Try to have at least one monthly release. Most people don't know that you can post any sort of audio on Spotify. So even if you post a short clip or if you post a message to your followers, it's still gonna go up and the Spotify algorithm would read it as you being active on the platform and it will reward you. Be sure to make radio versions of your tracks. All you need is for the user to play 30 seconds of your song in order for it to count as a play. So if you have a a one minute intro to your tech house song a lot of people will skip it and that will reflect negatively on your song and on you as an artist if you have a two minute three minute cut of your song you're probably gonna double your place one very important thing that you need to get in your head is that followers are not as important as you think many reports state that Spotify followers don't actually have much of an effect on how you get pushed it's all about the place you can have a million followers but if nobody's playing your tracks and nobody is especially saving them which is extremely important nothing is gonna happen for your music so before we even get into how the Spotify algorithm works stop buying followers they don't work and they will hurt you in the long run so how does the Spotify recommendation algorithm actually work the Spotify algorithm tracks user IDs and song IDs to every other user and song on the platform. So what does this mean? If a new song comes out and is very similar to one or more songs that you already listened to, Spotify will recommend it to you. And if a user with very similar listening habits to yours likes a new song, Spotify will recommend that song to you because it relates you to that user. Spotify uses natural language processing, blogs, metadata, and playlists to find out what you and your track are about. For example, if Mixmag features your new song in the best breaks releases and compares your music to Stanton Warriors, then Spotify will grab that information and relate your song and you as an artist to breaks and to Stanton Warriors. This is why it's very, very important for you to have all your information correct in all of your social medias and make sure to try and get some blog posts and some features that are beneficial to you. You might be thinking, I'm a new artist, I have no listening history, I have no features, how does my track get placed? What Spotify does is grab your track and analyze it. Spectral analysis, loudness analysis, key analysis, and many more to find out which other tracks in the whole Spotify world it relates to and which artists you might relate to as well. Time to break down which Spotify playlists there are and how to get on them. First we have the algorithmic playlist. Release Radar and Discover Weekly. Release Radar happens weekly every Friday and it is specific to every Spotify user depending on their listening habits. In order to show up on this playlist you need to submit your track through Spotify artists at least two weeks before its release. If you do this, you'll be 100% sure that your track will be sent to every one of your followers and they'll get an email notification. Make
make sure that you give Spotify every piece of information you can about your track to make it easier for them to place it in the algorithm. In order for your track to be quote viral on release radar, what needs to happen is the first week when your track is pushed only to your followers and monthly listeners, a lot of them need to play it and save it. If they do this, the second week your track will be sent out to similar listeners to the ones that follow you. If this second week you get a lot of positive feedback, then your track opens up to the third box of Spotify, which is even further away from your original followers. And this week is the week that we see the most amount of reach for your track. Make sure that your first followers, the people that you know, save your track, play your track, add your track to one of their playlists and put it as number one on that playlist. And this will go a long way in sending your track to those secondary and tertiary listeners. I have found that pre-save campaigns don't really work that well because when people pre-save your track before its release, they don't get to play it. it will be a thousand times more beneficial for you to wait for your track to be released and then get these people to save it and play it. Discover Weekly is 100% based on users' listening habits. The only thing that matters is that the track itself has never been streamed before by the user. In order to show up on Discover Weekly, it doesn't matter how old your track is. What matters is your history of positive feedback and data on Spotify. If your track has gained a lot of positive responses when pushed to listeners on the platform, then it will show up on more and more Discover Weeklies of users that have similar listening habits to your track. Track. Finally, we have the editorial playlist. They're selected by the Spotify curator team. They're pretty hard to get into. And unless you have the best cloud in the world, which would mean you have a direct contact like Spotify, you shouldn't worry about them too much. You're better off trying to find a user curated playlist that has the same amount of followers. It will probably get you more plays and more new follows. The other option you have is to go stalk a bunch of dudes on Instagram and try to hit them up and send them your track, which for from personal experience, I can tell you they do not enjoy. Now let's get into user-generated playlists. Most user-generated playlists are pay to plays. This is very dangerous and I would not recommend it unless you use a lot, a lot, a lot of research. Why am I saying this? Because if you get placed in the wrong playlist, Spotify will recommend your track to people that might not enjoy your music, which means they won't listen to it, which means they won't save it, which means Spotify will tag your track as a bad track and will not recommend. So even though you might get a lot of plays at some point, it will kill the momentum of your music and probably you as an artist. Some of these playlists are also considered by Spotify as bad playlists. These are playlists that get a lot of plays from countries that are well known to have click farms. If a playlist and even you as an artist has a lot of plays coming from these countries, it will reflect negatively in your push by the algorithm. Good playlists are updated frequently and get their highest amount of plays from first world countries. So before you start giving these people your hard earned money, you better make sure where their plays are coming from. If the music in this playlist is related to your music and if the artists are artists that you want to be associated with. Another option you have is to submit your track on Submit Hub, which isn't exactly pay to play, but what you will get is a selection of playlists that depend on genres and you will be able to make the people that own this playlist listen to a certain amount of seconds of your track. I've seen a lot better results from this than from buying placement on random playlists. How to push your own playlist. If you want to push your own playlist as a small artist with a small following, what you need to do is remove yourself from the equation. It's gonna be a thousand times as hard to push a playlist under your own name than it will be to push it either under a genre or under a vibe or moment. So if you're like me and you make Acid House and Techno Breaks, I'm not gonna call my playlist Ernesto's Playlist, 
I call it acid house and techno breaks. That way, the people that follow me will follow my playlist, but also some people that are looking for acid house and techno breaks will follow it too. Look into SEO. You want your playlist to be searchable. So make sure that the description is complete. Make sure that the genres are on the title so they're easily searchable from the Spotify dashboard. If you want to get one step ahead, try to get your playlist published on a blog or a website. This will, as I taught you before, help you out a lot in pushing it. Make sure that the music on your playlist actually makes sense with the title. If it's chill music to study to, it needs to be chill music with no vocal. This is very important because like I said, your data history is extremely important. So if people go in looking for chill beats, but they don't follow the playlist, they don't play music on the playlist and they don't save music on the playlist, this will reflect negatively on Spotify's algorithm. Finally, we're gonna talk about how to get on that coveted top seven spot of fans also like. Recommended artists are key on Spotify. Showing up on the top seven related artists of a popular producer can change your whole game. So how do we do this? The same points that we talked about on how Spotify recommends your music come into play with related artists. The algorithm will place you on the profiles of those artists that are close to you in listening patterns. This means there's a lot of overlap in listeners and that your styles and music are similar. How do you improve your chances of getting promoted on that coveted top set? Make similar music in key spectrum analysis and arrangement as the artist you want to be related to. Get your name on the press with this artist. Play the same gig that they play. Get a music writer to relate your music to theirs. Hell, put their name on your bio as an inspiration. Or if they have ever supported your music, put their name on your bio as a supporter of your music. Get your music on playlists where this artist's music is. Tell your friends to put this artist's music on their own playlist and put yours in there. Then we got a couple more difficult ones. Get on the same label as this artist. Remix this artist, officially or unofficially. And finally, try to get a collab. One does not simply collab, bro. Everything I just said will help you get closer to your goal of being on that top seven. But you also need to be realistic and take into account that you will only be promoted with this artist if your popularity levels are similar. From my research, I've found that nobody below 15 to 17 points of popularity is actually promoted on an artist's profile as similar artists. So you're thinking, how do I find out my popularity level? You can find it on Chartmetric and on Spotify developers. I'm gonna leave a link down below with some more information on this. So that was my full breakdown on how Spotify works. If you have any inside information of your own, please leave it in the comments and help the community. And if you found any value in this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe for more no-nonsense music production and artist branding tutorials. You can find me on social media here, here, and here, and listen to my music right here. If you stuck around till the end, you're truly awesome. Go check out our Broken English t-shirts below. Take care.